Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, welcome to another video. Today I want to recap my baby shower and I want to tell you and explain to you how to plan your baby shower or how to plan an event. We hosted a midsummer themed boho picnic and we absolutely love how it turned out. here to share it with you guys if you're planning a like I said baby shower birthday anniversary or anything like that kind of like in a backyard setting you can also do this like in an inside space if you have quite a big space you can kind of like have an indoor picnic I'm gonna just jump right into the step-by-step -step kind of process that we went through I hope that you guys will enjoy this video and I hope that you guys also enjoy like how this party turned out we like I said, absolutely loved it and all our guests loved it. So we're really, really, really grateful. So in general, if you are planning a event, like plan well ahead of time. Like we started planning probably three months in advance. That seems like a long, long time, but honestly, life just gets busy and then time just flies. So honestly, it was the perfect amount of time. Obviously, we just kind of gathered ideas like in the first little while. We went on Pinterest and kind of like figured out like what the theme should be what the feel should be you know obviously with COVID we had to keep in mind that we needed to create it like a little bit of a distance kind of space for people came up with this beautiful midsummer picnic theme that I'm gonna share my Pinterest board with you guys so you guys can have some ideas you guys can you know get some inspo and see what we had to work with <laughs> So I'll pop that over here. I'll also link my Pinterest account and that board in the description box below. So that was like perfect to, you know, just like gather like the general theme and the feel of the event and also figure out what supplies do we need. So that is step two. Make a Google sheet or make a list of the supplies that you will need. Maybe you will need to order some things that may take a little bit longer for delivery just keep that in mind especially with covid it's been quite a challenge to kind of get things shipped to canada at least i don't know how it is in other parts of the world but it has taken longer than usual so we did order things probably three months in advance for sure and it all worked out it all got here so just give yourself like a lot of time that way also you don't need to pay for express shipping you can save some money and also just list out every single item <laughs> that you will need and keep in mind the core supplies like cutlery plates things like that also like some of the little details maybe that you will need like fresh flowers or you know things that you may need to borrow we ended up renting some of the supplies we ended up borrowing some of the supplies from family and friends like big tablecloths and bed sheets and things like that just because like we don't have like an abundance of them so that was really great to just figure out right at the beginning and just kind of like put a check mark on it and of course some of the items you need to buy or you need to maybe make for example the white cushions that we had on the ground Jeremiah's mom actually like sewed the covers for them but which was really really special so some of those things you know do take time and that you just have to allow for that time for the things to happen you do save a lot of money that way the next part is to figure out your menu our event was from two to five so it was the perfect kind of like in between meal time time and we didn't plan on offering a full-on meal so we opted for so many different things on the menu and I think it was the perfect amount of like snacking like, getting people busy and full to uh, during that time like before like a full full meal time so we figured out our menu which was like a big spread of charcuterie that also included pizza because we love pizza and actually BB loves pizza <laughs> every time we eat pizza she like kicks up a storm and we also had samosas just because we wanted to incorporate some of the Pakistani culture as well and obviously charcuterie which is like super European a lot of fruits and veggies and just kind of like individual salads and things like that they were made with like some of the cheese that we had and it was just really really awesome honestly the spread looked great a little tip here like we totally overbought meats and cheeses just because 
in my mind to feed about 40 people with charcuterie. I thought we needed so much, but like once we spread it out on the platter, there was only like a few packages used. I was so surprised. So don't over budget on like how much food you actually need, but at the same time also don't have like not enough. So I feel like with the pizza and the samosas, like those were like kind of heavy foods. <laughs> It was it ended up being way too much food for us we didn't throw anything away like we made sure we gave it here and there and we ate a lot ourselves after and it worked out really really great another menu that we planned obviously is the sweets and how we did it was to have the sweets table together with the drinks and kind of make it like a focal point of the whole event Behind the sweets table, we had a backdrop of just like a white sheet and we put some letters there which said BB. And also we found this really, really cool inspiration of like using a vintage dresser to store like the glasses and like some of the, you know, like glassware and things like that. And that looked really, really nice. So if you can find anything like that, <laughs> That's a really, really nice touch. We also had like buckets with ice where we could store some of the drinks. So everything looked really, really good together and nothing was like too like boring or anything like that. I don't know. I just love like how it turned out and I just love how we displayed everything. And we also didn't want too much sweets. We opted to get a cake made by my mom. My mom has made our wedding cake and now she's made Bibi's first cake. So that was really great and we just wanted that to be like the main like dessert. So and actually people finished the cake. I've never been to an event where people have actually finished the cake. So I was a little bit sad because I was really looking forward to having that delicious delicious cake the next day for breakfast. But I'm also very happy because obviously that means it was so good and it really was. Like I tried it and it was so bomb my mom made just the perfect cake so in addition to the cake she also made some macaroons we had uh, macaroons at our wedding and I think it's such a nice touch and you know macaroons are just kind of like and that's it they were super super delicious also not very many left and then we had an Indian sweets called burfi which is a traditional kind of like sweets for celebrations and festive things so not too much and not too little. All together that was, like I said, displayed with the drinks and for drinks we had mocktails. We had a DIY like mocktail station which was great. The mocktail spirit was Seedlip and Seedlip is honestly like, it's been one of my favorite pregnancy go-to drinks just because like obviously I can't have alcohol but I do miss like a good like mocktail. So we definitely made sure that we had Seedlip there. Three different kinds, three different mixes. It was super, super delicious. People loved it. And the cool thing was that the kids could have it too. And then kombucha, because like I love kombucha. It's so, so good. And also kind of like a healthier option to pop. And then coffee with the cake, of course. Like I really wanted to make sure there's coffee there. So we opted for cold brew. It was just easier because nobody had to like brew it and make sure you know it's like fresh and this and that and like hot and all that and then a lot of water and we also had a beautiful rosé wine i think if you have a outdoor like summer picnic i don't know a good rosé is just a must and i wish i could have tried it i hear it's very very delicious <laughs> So yeah, just to have a selection of drinks is like a really good idea and also make sure if you do have kids, like make sure they have some to have something appropriate for them. Adults should have fun with some drinks too. Anyways, it's always nice to add something to the menu that means something to you and your partner or you know your family or something. If you are always making sangria, for example, it would be cool to like obviously have sangria there. Or if you I don't know could be anything that's kind of like sentimental like we always really love adding little things like that to our menu so in general for the party it was kind of like really laid back there was no announcements or anything we just kind of thank people for coming and I think it's really really important to do that just because people take time out of their day they probably will bring a gift and it's just really important to like thank them and like say something to them I think it's much 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 more important than having papers I actually truly don't believe in papers just because it's usually things that 
have taken a lot of time to make or are just gonna be things that like people don't really need or like throw out or I don't know. Overall, we did want to make sure that we have a little keepsake from this event. Of course, we have a lot of pictures and videos from the event as well. In order to have a little keepsake from the event, we really wanted to do an activity that kind of was interactive, but also will result in a keepsake. So we chose to do the Instax photo booth or like an Instax um, kind of like photo little corner and it was really really fun just because we were able to set up this photo corner exactly how we wanted it like as per theme and as per our aesthetic and people absolutely loved it they just took so so many photos in front of it and it was so great and then we attached a little string with clothespins and people were able to like write a message on the Instax and then just kind of like clip it on so it kind of like evolved over the course of the event and it like added to the backdrop which was really really cool so now we kind of like moved that those strings of the photos into little BB's room and it's just behind the door and it has like all the people who attended her first party and it's just honestly I just love it it's so beautiful and I think it's a really really great way to display it too just because usually you just put those photos like into a book into a photo album and that's kind of it but instead you know I just imagine when she's a little fussy or something I can just like talk about all these people who were there which is really really cute we also ended up playing a few games one of the games was a clothespin game my sister-in-law suggested it and it was really simple and it's really really simple to do you could do it for any party really it doesn't have to be a baby shower just because you simply give a clothespin to each person who enters the party and then you just pick a word and our word was baby so whoever catches someone saying baby gets their clothespin so for example like if somebody would have an anniversary you could pick anniversary and then if you hear somebody say anniversary then you would take their clothespin and whoever has the most clothespins at the end of the day will get a prize so it was really really fun and it really kind of like encouraged people to like tease each other which was really cool it ended up being like a crazy thing like somebody had like so many clothespins like on her sleeve it was just crazy and then we also played another game that we played at our wedding and our entire bridal party participated once again not for our wedding this time but for our little BB and it was kind of like the shoe game that probably most of you guys know so we had a bunch of questions and then each person uh, had two petals one had Jeremiah's face and one had my face and whoever they thought is more likely to you know change the diaper faster let's say they would select the petal they would show and it was really funny like everybody laughed and it was just a really really fun game to play those were kind of the two games that we played and it was just enough it was really really awesome everybody is different like maybe you like to play kind of like more traditional baby shower games but for us that was so awesome so that kind of sums up the planning process of the whole event it honestly it takes a lot of different hands and a lot of different minds to think about this we did have a lot of help and especially you know like we love planning events and we love like thinking of all these little details Make sure that you have help if you're planning it by yourself. Make sure that the day of you give yourself a lot and a lot of time. We gave ourselves five hours to set up, which was pretty <laughs> awesome because we were not rushed and we ended up having like a lot of different people come early also to help us which was so so awesome even some of the things like we set up days before just like the laundry lines we set up days before we set up different like corners in the space with different furniture days before so any of the things that you know don't you don't have to do the day of the event it's just really really awesome and i have a big big tip for all the ladies out there if you're planning to do anything like with curls in your hair wear rollers that is literally what i did during the whole setup i had rollers in my hair and then once i was calm and everything was kind of like coming together i was like okay i'm just gonna change and take out my rollers and then i'll be good to go and it just worked out so perfectly <laughs> 
<laughs> so that's a kind of like a tip from me that really really ended up working out really well just because I feel like if I would have curled my hair in the morning running here and there setting this up like I don't know, I would have probably ended up with straight hair that day. It was really, really awesome. And then if you are going with a midsummer theme, then obviously the flower crowns were such a beautiful touch. They were handmade by all of our helpers. Those flower crowns looked so, so nice. And I think it added a lot to the theme. It added a lot to the photos that we took and everybody looked so pretty. It was so, so great. But one of my friends got this whole 100 stem eucalyptus bunch at Costco. She was able to order it online and it was just so convenient to have have it delivered like to your home just because a, it's more expensive if you buy like smaller bunches individually and it was just a great addition to the whole theme and party so that kind of concludes like our like planning process and our event i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did i wish you all the best with like planning your guys's event and i hope it's going to be such a blast so if you have any questions, make sure you put them in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you. I'll see you next time. Bye!